Konnichiwa. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we're checking out a few spots in Kyoto. First one is Kyo Mizudera. <laughs> This temple is not free to enter, it's going to cost you one of these little gold shiny coins right here, about 500 yen. It is 500 yen, but it's at the booth to the right just before you enter. You'll need to get your ticket from them, and then you'll hand it to the guy at the entrance before you're able to go inside. I highly suggest that everyone does while they're here is get your omikugi or fortune. You're gonna shake this little barrel and then you're gonna pull out the stick and the man behind the counter is gonna give you your fortune based off of that stick. Oh, Lucky. Lucky? Lucky. Yeah. Little lucky. Lucky. Mine was good luck, but unfortunately Toru's was not. Go! I'm lucky. You have to tie it. <laughs> if you get a bad luck fortune, it's custom to come and tie it to these wires or poles along with other bad luck fortunes. The idea behind it is to kind of have the bad luck attached to that rather than to attach the person holding it. In this way, you can kind of leave your bad luck behind you. That way you don't have to worry about all the bad things that might come about with the bad luck reading that you got. Also a pretty cool way to engage a little bit more in Japanese culture. Just moments later, our friend Toru fell down the stairs and hurt his foot. He's okay though, he didn't hurt himself too bad. This temple was actually founded in the year 778. It was reconstructed later in 1633. I wanted to share a little bit of the history behind Kyo Mizudera because I actually think it's really cool. A long, long time ago, a monk named Kenshin had a revelation of a man dressed in white who told him to go north and find a crystal spring. Kenshin did, and he found a pure waterfall where he met a hermit priest named Gyoi Koji, who told him he had been waiting for him. Gyoi Koji gave Kenshin a sacred tree with the power of Kanon, and told him to carve a statue of the thousand-armed Konon to guard his place. Then Gyoi Koji disappeared. Later, a warrior named Tamura Maro killed a deer in the area. Kenshin preached to him about taking life on the holy grounds of Konon and taught him about the teachings of Konon. Tamuro Maro later built a temple to enshrine the 11 headed thousand arm Kanon and named it Kiyomizu after the Pure Water Waterfall. If you guys liked my little attempt at a history lesson, please let me know. I'll try to include them more often in these videos because I actually find it really interesting, but I don't want to bore you guys if that's not what you're into. This was actually pretty cool. For 200 yen, you buy these little pieces of paper and you put your worries on it. And the paper actually kind of reminded me of the things from Spirited Away, but you write your worries on it and when you put it in the water, when it's fully dissolved, so are your worries. All gone, just like that. <laughs> if you're a photographer like I am, you're going to be looking for a ton of different spots to take photos, right? I can guarantee you this temple has hundreds of them. When you leave and most likely enter Kiyomizudera, you're going to find this long street with a ton of shops. They're going to have snacks, food, souvenirs, a ton of different stuff. Be careful with your camera, a lot of places don't like photography, but I found a little Totoro place that has a ton of Studio Ghibli stuff and I had to go check it out. Really hope I don't get flagged for copyright or something like that, but this place was really cool. Uh, I bought like little pins in here and there's just a ton of different little souvenirs. They got cards, puzzles, books, movies, anything that you can think of for Studio Ghibli, they're probably gonna have it. Pretty cool if the sun was above us. It would have looked better. It's hot. But it's still pretty cool.
If you're trying to go to a beautiful place in Kyoto, I highly suggest the Arashiyama Bamboo Forest, but just a little secret, there is going to be mosquitoes here, so you should bring a little bit of um, like mosquito repellent or something. I don't feel... Ah, dude, it already stings. <laughs> I'm not putting that stuff on again. I, I forgot how this feels. Uh, what happened? What happened? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Not compared to Dustin. <laughs> I've had three bites. Yeah. This dude has had like 20. You can't even count. 30 million. <laughs> when you go to the back of the forest, if you go left and then keep going and then go right into this like little area, I don't know how to explain to get there fully, but in the back there's a stairway down and it leads you to this river. And I could have stayed there all day, minus the mosquitoes. Wow. Don't get shy. Let's do this. Oh, my dad's gonna love this shit. Oh, wait. Dude, pose. How did you find this? I was just following Toru. And then we came down these steps. And look at that. That's the end of the Kyoto trip. We're now heading back out to Tokyo. And Tokyo is our last city before we go back home. So, yeah. Kyoto was bomb. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Please like, make sure to hit subscribe. Check out the me. Check out my other like, social media. Bye-bye. I wanted to give a huge thank you for the people that have supported my channel so far. Um, it has been like a full year of making videos and trying to learn how to make videos better and learning from my mistakes and doing different things and just kind of testing around. Um, this video is actually the last video from my previous trip that I'm going to release. I'm going to start a new on this next trip, which I'm actually leaving for in like two weeks. So I'm going to have a lot of new content for everybody. I know what to do better. I know what not to do. I'm really excited to release all this new stuff. Um, Again, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Hit like, share, subscribe, and yeah, I will see you next time. I'm very excited to take you guys on the next trip with me, so stay tuned.